Porter versus Sea Hunt, the real deal. This time with a 196 Tidewater Center Console Adventurer, which is not a bay boat for all you skeptics out there. It is their center console boat versus the Sea Hunt 196 Ultra, neck and neck, both the same size, 19 foot 6 inches, both not bay boats. And we are going to compare these two and why the Sea Hunt had is a better drier ride made with better parts from IBBI, International Boat Buyers, Inc. And uh, pretty much for the value and all around better boat. Um, much bigger boat with more uh, freeboard as well. So here's your Tidewater. And I'm going to show you neck and neck, like I said, here's your dead rise on the Tidewater, which is about 40 degrees of dead rise. So by the time you are cutting, now the Sion Ultra 196 is behind it. And we are neck and neck here. And if you can see, between this trailer, it is cutting the water ahead of the tide because it's 50 degrees of dead rise on your entry. The entry is a big deal in rough water because you're cutting the, the water in the front of the boat. And that's what you want to do. With the tide water, you're losing uh, footage because by the time it hits the water, when it slopes down here, you're not breaking the water till about here. So now you have just turned your boat into a 17 foot boat. You lost two foot of boat in the water. You understand what that means. So that's number one. Number two, your flare on the tide water is a lot less prominent than the Sea Hunt. I will show you that now. Here's your tide water and your flare starts here. And it's decent flare. It's it's decent flare, but it ends short. It ends right here it breaks before your seat so the water is going to come at you and is not as prominent as the sea hunts here's the sea hunts flare way more flare as you can see way more flare and it does not break until here that's your break point and it's past the driver's seat And again, your reverse chine on the Tidewater, the reverse chine is not as thick as it is on the Sea Hunt. See how much thicker the chine is on the Sea Hunt? So I'll show you from both the outside points of view. Your dead rise is way, your degree of dead rise is way higher on the Sea Hunt on your entry and your flare on the tide water, the break is right here by the cleat. That's where it stops. If you notice, that's exactly right before the driver's seat. So if it is gonna, if you do break your, your water, it's gonna break farther back and then the flare can't help you. It's coming right at you. And the rear of the boat has lower gunnels. It comes down a lot lower on this boat than the, the Ultra 196 Sea Hunt. Look at the stainless on there. One year, it's a 2011, one year, and it's already rusted. Now look how much bigger the 196 Ultra looks than the 196 Center Console on the same trailers. And next to each other on level ground. Not even, uh, not even fair, really. See how much more you have on the sea hunt than than the tide water. Let me show you from the outside of the sea hunt. How much more flare there is. standing underneath it right now and does not break until right here is your breaking point past the driver's seat we have a little bit more boat to go it goes three-fourths of the boat to the stern so to me means every little bit of driving a boat in rougher water like here in New Jersey and just look how much taller the boat is same size boat that's 
how much taller the boat is. Let's check the inside, inside of it. Inside the tide water, I'm going to show you how low the gunnels are. I'm going to give you the, uh, the mark of my shin here. My knee is right here at the top of the edge of the tire water, top of my knee. Remember that so when we go into the sea hunt, you see the difference. A lot less room here on the interior. But that was the back gunnel. The front gunnel, you can tell, is higher in the, in the sea hunt as well. Here's the sea hunt. Now here's the size of your head on, on the tide water. That is very small. You'd have to crawl in there. It does not drop down more than a couple inches. Uh, it is one of the smallest heads I've ever seen on a boat. It's almost useless. Just for storage, I would say. All right, I'm gonna show you the uh, sea top hunt. of the sea hunt. It's also a much more attractive boat. Decent size room here. The 196 Ultra has the full bench back here. They also make the Triton series where there's a live hole in the middle and, and two bucket seats. Now I'm going to do the test with my knee in the back here. It's a little higher than my knee on here. Not a ton, maybe two inches. Like I've said before, they both make nice boats. Just some boats are better for this area of rough water than others. All the hatches are top notch on the Sea Hunt with pumps, fully enclosed, uh, insulated, as well as drainage all the way around. Can't ask for a better built boat with better parts from IBBI, just like your Rabalos, your Scouts, your Bertrams. I said ahead on a 196 Ultra. It's a very large door. When I open that up, You can really fit in here. It drops down more than half a foot. I think it's hard to show on a video. But a much, much deeper head. Somebody can actually fit in there and use that. Here's the tide waters, uh, the actual measurement of their back gunnels. about 20, 23 inches. And here's the measurement on the Sea Hunt 196 Ultra back gunnel. As you can see, it's 25 inches. A little more, about 25 and a half inches high. So for around the same money, option to option, you definitely got a better value in the Sea Hunt, better stainless, better hatches, Kusa Composite Transom, which is the best composite you could get in the industry. Nida Core technology in a load bearing areas. Vortec hull design. It's the quickest boat with the least amount of power out there. 115 gets this boat to about 44 miles per hour. The driest ride in the industry. And for the reasons I showed on the hull designs. For more information, log on to www.njoutboards.com or give us a call at 732-505-3002. Thank you.